Hi, this is David McCann for Elementor 360. In this video, I want to take a look at a free plugin. It's called Oh Boy Steroids for Elementor. That's right, it's an Elementor add on, and it brings a number of advanced layout and styling options to the Elementor builder. There are no widgets, it's all extensions. Here I am on the WordPress page for Oh Boy Steroids. And you can see that the author has some videos on YouTube that show how to use the features. So that's nice. It's been active in the support. And then so far it has 12 features. The features have kind of whimsical names like Poop Art and Paganini, Breaking Bad. So pardon me in advance. <laughs> Anyway, this is kind of a nice add-on, so I thought that I'd show you some of the features from it so you could decide if it's something you'd like to add to your toolbox. The first Oh Boy feature I want to look at is called Butter Button. And so here we have a default Elementor button, and I added an icon. And here are the default style options for that button. We have topography, text shadow, normal and hover states, text color, background color, okay? And then other standard order items. So now let's enable butter button, see what we have. Here we also have topography and we have padding like on the regular button. But here we have the option to resize the icon. Normally the icon size is a function of the font size but we can resize that if we want. And then transition duration is another interesting thing. This is the time between switching from the normal state to the hover state. So if we bump this up to a second, you can see that it gets this fade effect. So that's kind of interesting and nice. We also have the regular and hover states but there are some differences here with background. With the Elementor button style, you only have a color option for the button. Here you have color or image, and you also have the option for a gradient. So let's do a light blue as the first and a dark blue as the second color. And now for hover, we have the same options. I'm going to make keep the text as white and this time we'll have a gradient with a light green and a dark green. So let's see how that looks. So you can see it just kind of enhances some of the options with the button and you know there was the option to use an image so you could have image buttons which in some cases are, are nice. So that's a butter button. The next feature of Oh Boy Steroids I wanted to look at is called Harakiri. And what this does is it lets you rotate a heading or text box. So I'm going in to the heading and here's the Harakiri and there I've rotated it. And you can use that to get some effects. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go to the column and let's align middle. Then let's go to style. Let's give it a background color, say black. And then let's give the text color, make that white. And then on the section, let's give it a border, make that black. Let's see what we need to do here. Maybe on the right, we give this a little bit more padding. Put that in the middle. There we go. Okay, so anyway, you can see you can kind of spice things up and have a different mode of presentation using Harakiri. The next feature of Oh Boy Steroids is called Glider. So I'm just going to add a section with three columns and then add an image in each of those. Okay, pretty standard stuff. Now, I'm going to click on the section, go to the glider panel, turn on glider, and just like that, it's turned into a slider. 
So you have some options to adapt the height and hide the navigation or show it or style the navigation. The pagination here can be styled or hidden and you have options for transition and you can even change the direction. Let's see what happens if we change the direction to vertical. So that's the glider feature of Oboy Steroids. And the next feature is called Overlays. It lets you move, resize, and style the background overlay. So here I have a section, one column, and an image widget, this picture. I'm gonna to go to the section and we'll go to the background overlay and we'll add one. We do that, we get the option to enable overlays. Okay, and so let's choose an image here. Basically what overlays gives you is the ability to move that background image and resize it. We can change the width of the background image, which is not something you can normally do with Elementor. And then let's move it. There's a lot more you can do with this, kind of up to your creativity, but this adds these controls to the background overlay for resizing it and positioning it. So the next feature is called Poop Art. <laughs> so I'll add a section again. Let's add an image. And let's use this one again. This time we'll go with a medium size and we'll align it to the right. Okay, so what Poop Art does is it adds this extension to all Elementor elements. And basically what it does is it gives you two additional layers. They're called overlay and underlay, but let's look at one. See, it has a Z index. So, you know, that's just a name because you're gonna layer them using the Z index. So let's add a background first. Let's make it a gradient. And each of these layers has a position and size option. So let's make it just a little bit taller and then adjust the position here. So there's one layer, our background layer. Now let's add another layer. This time we'll add an image of a person and let's make it be center left with no repeat. Okay, so there's our image of the person. We'll give that a higher Z index and get rid of the opacity on that. And let's go into the position and let's move this to the right a little bit. So this is an example of poop art where you get two extra layers for every element. Another feature is called Paginini, another kind of whimsical name. And this one works with the posts widget. And okay, so Let's add pagination. And you see Elementor doesn't give you many options on how to style those. So we, we do have a color for normal, hover, and active that we can set. And we can set the space between and spacing. But Paginini gives you a few more options. For example, we can go for a very light gray there. We can add some padding. We can go into the page numbers themselves and we can give them a background color, give it a border radius and a border, and then go and give some padding here for the buttons. Let's do the current one now. Same thing, we'll give it a slightly different background color and give it a border type and a border radius and the border color. Okay, and then give you a little extra width. I don't know, the background isn't working for me. So we have to make it even lighter. Okay, 
So that is Paginini. We have some further ability to style the pagination of the post widgets more than the Elementor defaults. The next feature is called Baseline Grid, and you access it from the page settings. Toggle it on. You can choose the color for the grid. And you can choose the grid size. So if you like to use a grid, here is that feature. Next feature is called Breaking Bad. Let's, it works on columns, so let's add some. And here we will have an image with a person and another image with another person. And in the middle we'll have a text widget. And into the text widget we'll add some more dummy text. So here's a problem. Our columns aren't the same size and we've got this extra text. We don't want to delete the text because we want people to have the option to read it. So what do we do? Along comes Breaking Bad. And so when that's enabled, we have the option on the column to make it scrollable. And then we can set the column height. And our column is scrollable. Breaking Bad also gives you the ability to set column widths by regular units, not just percentages. And you can set the column order as well. That is Breaking Bad. Okay, the next feature is called Photo Giraffe. And sometimes when you add an image, it doesn't go to full height. And what Photo Giraffe does is it just forces it to full height. So it's a nice convenience instead of trying to play around with the image height and width. That is Photo Giraffe. So the next feature is called Teleporter. And let's turn this off and let's make this just a single column. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is go to a medium size image and let us set a background color on that. Okay, so one thing that Teleporter does is if you go to the column, you can set up some, I don't know what you call it, I guess we're gonna teleport the action from the column to the section. Let's see if we can do that. So we will make it that when you hover over the image, we want to teleport to the parent. And we are on hover. When the mouse goes over the column, we will set the background to be changed from a solid blue to a gradient blue-red. Okay, so that's what Teleporter does. There are some options here to move columns. And let's see, let's try 200 pixels. Let's turn off teleport to parent. There we go. Okay, so that is teleporter. And you can use this for effects, you know, like you could have some background picture behind this. And so when you hover over it, it's revealed. Kind of a cool extension. That's teleporter. Okay, the next one we want to look at is called Video Mask. One thing Elementor lets you do is you can set a background type of video. So let's add a video there. Okay, and let's add some padding to the top. Okay, so what Video Mask does is you can set a image mask for your video. You can see this is the mask. It's kind of the opposite the way I imagined that you would see the heart here and the video would play everywhere else, but it's the opposite of that once you understand that, then you can make your mask. That's kind of an interesting feature. 
and you can use it to add little effects to your video. That's Video Mask. In summary and conclusion, the Oh Boy Steroids for Elementor add-on brings some useful and unique features to Elementor related to layout and design. Most of them are pretty easy to figure out, but you have to kind of fiddle around with it a bit to get the effect you want. It's nice that the author has a YouTube video demonstrating each one. I did see two possible drawbacks. First, the whimsical names don't seem very professional. And paying on the client might be awkward to place on a client website with names like Poop Art. Uh, but depending on your use and perspective, it might not be a big issue. The other possible issue is that there's no way to disable the features that you don't intend to use. So they're always on and it seems like at least maybe Breaking Bad was toggled on sometimes when I didn't do that. So not sure if there are any consequences of that, but... It would be nice if it were possible to toggle off the features that you didn't plan to use on the site. Overall, I think that the pros clearly outweigh the cons. I like the ability to rotate headings and text. I like the ability to add layers to any widget. I think that is super powerful. And the ability to style the post pagination is nice and enhance the buttons and columns and rows. I think for a free plugin, it brings a lot to the table, and because it's free, there's no restriction to trying it out, to seeing if it's something that you want to add to your toolbox. The text version of the video is available on the Elementor 360 website, along with other resources and tutorials and walkthroughs. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.